Hi, welcome back. It's Adrian, the Mountain Man. Uh, it's Saturday, March 12th, um, 2022, and I'm about three weeks out from the Umstead 100, which takes place on April 2nd. And this is supposed to be my last big week of training um, before I do my taper. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, you can see it is really wet. And I'll show you the That's my front yard. It's now a lake. Uh, so a lot of the trails, especially single track, are just going to be unrunnable, underwater, essentially. And um, Umstead might be okay, but um, it's just going to be really wet. It's been raining like this uh, all night and on and off for a couple of days. So um, it's definitely going to be a treadmill day for me. Um, I have not run um, 30 miles on the treadmill yet. I've run some 20s and maybe a 25 or two, um, but um, unfortunately that's what I'm going to have to do um, just to get this last big weekend of running. Uh, tomorrow, I don't think I think it's supposed to stop raining, but it's uh, the temperature today is right now maybe high 40s, low 50s, but it's supposed to drop all the way into the 20s. So um, even if it does stop raining, um, I just imagine there's gonna be a lot of ice and stuff on the trails. So it might be 50 miles on the treadmill this weekend, um, but I'll find something to watch and um, you know, just get it done so i will um, check in over the course of the weekend uh maybe film some stuff on the treadmill that might not be that compelling but um at least uh go over what i've done so all right thanks for checking it out i'll see you soon okay i'm all ready to go for my uh, 30 mile long run um and i thought maybe i'd just film real quickly what i have uh my setup when i do these kind of long runs on the treadmill um it's kind of awesome because um I have a uh, full like aid station set up um, and I can watch TV and I have air conditioning and fan and whatever um, but uh, what I wanted to show you was the aid station stuff so uh, my body glide and um, this stuff is awesome so what I typically do is use this first like put apply that and then spray that on top of it and I never ever have any chaf chafing problems um, I've used just that before um and you know wears off or, or whatever this i think because of the spray it kind of gets doesn't have to be applied directly like this is like only where you put your hand like this if you spray there's a little overspray i think that helps um but um i also have these water bottles this one has just water in it but these are like uh tailwind and um scratch i think that one's scratch these two are tailwind they're all different flavors so that's good uh, to have um and then I can, uh, if I need to, I can refill them, but I'm hoping that four water bottles would be enough. Um, and in here I have my chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. Um, like when I come back to an aid station, after a couple of hours, I just want something to, to um, drink that's not like watery or, or um, you know, tastes like some kind of mix in it. And these, these I don't typically use like booze or honey stinger gels, but like people have given them to me or I've gotten them in races. And so I tend to use that kind of stuff on the treadmill um, because if, you know, if I'm out on the road, then I, I'm carrying that. And then it's like, okay, then now that's all I have. Where here, if I get sick of this stuff, I can either just switch to this. this these are what I typically use at a race and, and one of the, a couple of these. Um, but I have a whole setup over here where I can just run over there and you can see them down there. Uh, and just grab them if I if I get sick of this. Um, so I tend to use this kind of freebie stuff um, here on the treadmill. So I'm not. This stuff can be pretty expensive. Um, and then just a couple of other options, uh, some trail mix, and um, you know, I have my TV and my treadmill, and and um, that's pretty much my setup. And then you know, you can see through there. That's my kitchen and my bathrooms there. So that makes everything. Um, easy um for doing these long runs and getting it done so all right uh thanks for checking that out and i'll talk i'll check back in later thanks hey again uh all right it's a couple days later it's tuesday um it's the 15th and um so i just wanted to update everybody on what happened over the weekend so i the last clip i was about to do my i was supposed to do 30 miles on the treadmill 
Um, and I ended up only doing 12 because um, on my left Achilles, it, it's, I don't think it's too troublesome yet, but just a little bit of, I've noticed any, uh, something the uh, last couple weeks. Um, and it's not getting worse, but it hasn't been getting better. Um, so I switched shoes trying to see if I could, you know, if it, if it was something the shoes were doing that were, were bothering me. But I, I switched shoes. It's, it still was like nagging me a little bit. So I, I cut that short. Um, and I, I didn't mention this before, but so, so f that was Saturday, Friday night. Um, my overnight, my nose is just like started running like crazy. And, um, so <laughs> I got up and I was, I was fine. But, um, the later that, that day after the run, um, I started like feeling it in my throat. And so I don't, you can probably tell now, but, <laughs> um, so I didn't run at all Sunday, um, or Monday, Monday. I, um, pretty much stayed on the couch all day. <laughs> Uh, so I, I got a I got a sinus infection. So um, I was supposed to do the last week was supposed to be my last like um, long week. Um, I was supposed to do 75 miles, but I, I only did 12 on on um, Saturday and nothing on Sunday. So I think it ended up with like 37 miles or something, um, which I'm, I'm not that pleased about. But I'm not that upset about. I mean that was my last long week, so I'm supposed to taper this week anyway. Uh, like I said, it's Tuesday. Yesterday I didn't do anything. Today, um, normally during the week, I have six on Tuesdays, ten on Wednesdays, and four on Thursdays. So I might, I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting better or worse. I kind of feel like I'm gonna about, about to get worse, but I'm gonna try and e at least do the four, but maybe the six um, <clears throat> and see what happens. And then this weekend, I'm supposed to have 10 and 10 uh, for a 40 mile week. And then next week, I only have 20. And then the week after that, I have a like a Monday three mile, a Tuesday two mile, and then the race um, on the Saturday into Sunday. So um, for those that don't know, uh, it's the Umstead 100 um, on April 2nd in Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, and I live in Durham. So um, so that's my update. Uh, not much happened over the weekend. Um, and, uh, I, I'm not happy about getting sick, but I think the timing is great because, um, uh, like I said, I missed those two long, you know, last, uh, runs of my long week, but now I'm in the taper and I think it's early enough that, um, I'll recover from the sinus infection by the time the race comes. So if I had to get sick, I guess it's perfect timing because uh, the, most of the work was done and, uh, I still have time to, to get better. So. Anyway, that, that was my update. I just wanted to update you um, on the rest of the, how the rest of the weekend went and how I'm doing. So um, I will um, check in uh, probably next week or maybe later this week. Um, all right, thanks for checking out the video. And, uh, you know, if you've been following me for a while, uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up if, if you feel like it. Um, it's... Uh, I'm at the point I have eight subscribers, so like it's not helping me monetarily, but it's really exciting for me to, to see that. Um, so if, if you could do that, that'd be great. Um, all right. Uh, thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon.